Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. In this video, we will learning about the new topic that is server side rendering in the Angular 19. So that is nothing but in short form we can call it as an SSR. So let's try to understand about the server side rendering in the Angular 19. So hey there, Angular enthusiasts, are you looking to make your web app faster, improve SEO and boost performance? So today we will do, dive deep into the server side rendering SSR in the Angular 19. So SSR lets us render pages on the server and deliver HTML content directly to the browser. So up to now what will happen is whenever you are trying to develop an application, so you will be able to see all the content and all those things is rendered in the browser itself. Okay. So now it will render the pages in the server side and the HTML content will be delivered to the browser. This improves performance, makes our app SEO friendly and enhances user experience. So now in this video, we will cover what is an SSR, why we use the SSR and how to set up SSR in Angular 19. I'll try to show you like this. <clears throat> and how to set up SSR in Angular 19 with standalone components. So entire our application will be starting with the SSR with Angular 19 with a standalone components only. And we'll learn what is an SSR, why we use SSR, and we'll set up an SSR in the Angular 19 the standalone components. In this video, we'll try to do it. So, first of all, we'll learn what is an SSR. So, server side rendering, the SSR full form is server side rendering. SSR is a process where the server generates the initial HTML content for our Angular app. This differs from the client side rendering. So, which up to now, whatever the Angular applications we have learned is all client side rendering applications only where the browser builds the page after downloading the javascript the html will be down, will be prepared after downloading the javascript so this is all csr but here where the server generates the html content and deliver to our angular app why we use this ssr so first one is improved performance the browser receives fully rendered html users on slower devices or networks can view content faster so that is one thing and why we use the SSR means the second concept is better core web vitals. So if you try to check the web page speed test in the Google, you'll be able to have a speed page speed. So you'll be able to have some of these things like first content paint and largest content paint, and you'll be able to have CLS cumulative layout shift, interaction point. So these are some of the things which you will be having in the page test, which it will show you some, it will give you some points. So the, that is the main thing. So for the better core web vitals, you'll be able to see CWV metrics like first content full paint and the largest content full paint are improved. This results in a smoother experience. And also uh, and the last one is the main thing is the enhanced SEO. Search engines can easily crawl the rendered content, boosting the discoverability of your app. So now how we can create a new project. So here create a new Angular project with SSR means. So here you will be create ng new my Angular SSR app hyphen hyphen standalone hyphen hyphen SSR. So if you try to give it like this, automatically this command creates a new Angular app with SSR pre-configured. It adds essential files like server.ts and also the main server.ts file. So these are the main files which uh, for the SSR it is useful. If you want to add SSR to an existing Angular project means then you need to use ng add at the rate angular slash SSR. This modifies the existing app to support SSR by adding the required files in the configuration. So understand the SSR specific files means so it will have like something like this. You will be having a my app and in this one you will be having some files like server.ts and in the source you will be having app.config.server.ts. So normally we used to have app.config.ts but here you will be having app.config.server.ts file along with app.config.ts file. That one also will be having with the both the server, uh, ts files will be watched and we will be having main.server.ts file server application bootstrap and this is an application server entry point and this one is app server application configuration server.ts starts the server to handle ssr requests main.server.ts bootstrap the angular application on the server app.config.server provides configuration specific to the server side application that's it so if you want to run the ssr application means then you need to do npm run build if ssr or otherwise npm run serve ssr also you can do it and we also have an hybrid rendering APIs, which we'll try, try to learn about uh, these upcoming videos. So Angular 19 also introduces a developer preview APIs for hybrid rendering. So uh, each page, how you want to render, it should be pre-rendered or it should be, should be client-side rendered or it should be server-side rendered. So like that, we can use it different types. Each page also you can give. 
these APIs combine SSR and CRS, CSR seamlessly. So we will stay tuned for the updates. So I will provide the updates for this one. We'll, uh, I will explain you in this video. <coughs> so today what we have did it. So today we have learned how to set up SSR in the Angular 19. Uh, its benefits and how to verify it. If you found this helpful, if you found this helpful, like, like, share and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. So we will see you in the next video. So uh, before closing this one, so I will try to show you how to set up this one. All. So just I have written in the template itself. But uh, if you like this video helpful means so like, share and subscribe to the video. So now what we will try to do is we will try to set up the, uh, we will try to create the project. So for this one what I will try to do is I will go to my tree drive and here I will be having Angular 19 and in this one I will create a new file. So the new project. So let us go into the command prompt. Okay. So just simple. So if you try to see here, so ng new hyphen hyphen SSR. So just you can type it like this and it will ask you some series of questions. So let's try to see. So this is our Angular project. So automatically the Angular it will be created in Angular project. It will take some time. So let it take. So it is asking what name would you like to use for the workspace or the initial project means. So I will give something like Angular hyphen SSR. So I am giving it like this. And to ask you some series of questions. Okay. So style sheet is CSS. So let it create. So would you like to use the server side routing and API engine APS means? So right now I so I am pressing enter. So it will create the files. Let it create. So it is creating the it is installing all the packages that has available that has needed for this Angular project. So let it create. So the version of this one is Angular 19, right? At the time of this recording, I am using the version of the Angular as Angular 19, the latest one. So I am opening the project here Angular SSR and this is the project structure and if you try to see the structure for this one. So here in our source if you open this source and here if I try to open one by one. So here you will be able to see a server.ts file. So this is our server.ts file. Okay. And you will be having another one is nothing but main.server.ts file. So this is also main.server.ts file. And apart from this one in the app, you will be able to see app.config.server.ts file. So these are the two, three files which you will be able to see more common. And at the time of this recording, the version of this Angular is 19.0.0. So we are using the version of Angular 19.02. So now if you try to check this Angular, so here what I can do it is, so we can just use npm start. So let's try to do the npm start. Okay. So I will try to show you npm start. So let it start. So here it has been built. So you will be able to see two bundles. One is browser bundle and also the server bundle. And uh, those things will not be in the dish. So you will be able to see one browser and also one server bundle, which we will try to learn one by one. So localhost slash 4200. If you try to open this one, localhost slash 4200. Now you will be able to see the output. So now if I try to change this code, so we will be able to see the change. Let's see. So here you will be able to see hello angular SSR and these are all the CLA docs and all those things. And if I try to uh, show you this one all. So if I try to go into this one and if I try to do hello, see here we are able to see the HTML content, whatever the content we are able to see there. Congratulations and all those things. So you are able to see in the HTML also. So this is what uh, I want to I want to explain you so everything whatever the thing you are able to see it here everything you will be able to see in the page source which will be an SEO friendly. So this is the basic setup of this SSR in the Angular 19. Hope you understand about this one. So if you like this video please uh, like it share it and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts please post the comments below to this video and I will try to give the reply. Thank you.